So, hello Roxdale fans, hello subscribers, hello anyone else that is watching, hello to any Lincoln City fans that might be watching today. So, onwards we go from the embarrassment of Saturday. We'll um, confine that one to the uh, history books now. It's match day eight, night match at home against Lincoln City. <clears throat> it's only half eight in the morning at the moment, so I've got work to get out of the way first. But I'm going to save a bit of time by doing this opening now. So yeah, Lincoln City at home. Under the lights, don't know it's going to go just yet. I'll decide that throughout the day to see if we can uh, put on a better display than weekend. It can't get much worse than that one. But anyway, yeah, I'll see you all when I finish work, basically. So up the rail. You won't see me after work. We'll see you. Uh, you'll see me right now because I've got my season ticket. I'm not going home first, am I? Fuck's sake. So it's five past ten. I'm going to be a few minutes late for work, but I'm just going to get um, a little low down on Lincoln before I start my shift. So yeah, over the last few years they've had some um, bit of success. So they've gone from a mediocre team like Rochdale, or a lower sort of end team. They managed to reunite the town, uh, the city, get everyone on side, and uh, they've had a few successful years. And obviously they got promoted last year, and they're with us now. One of the main reasons they got promoted is Danny Cowley was the manager. However, he's now gone. He's gone to Huddersfield, so they currently don't have a manager. So with any luck, we could take advantage of that. As four of the last five teams have taken advantage of that against Lincoln because they're on a bit of a low run of form. He's not been gone for five games, but they're not playing too well at the moment. Lost at weekend at home to Bristol Rovers as well. So if any luck, Rochdale can also add a bit more, a bit more misery on them uh, this evening. I'll leave it there. I'll give you my Rochdale um, lowdown when I finish my shift in eight hours' time. So yeah, just on my dinner break from work. Only an hour and a half to go now before I'll be setting off to meet the lads at the pub. Big, uh, quick word on Rochdale, so we need to bounce back big time after last week. Um, I'm glad we've got a game straight away, so we've got the opportunity to do that. I'm sure the lads will try and forget it, get out of their minds and focus on tonight's game. I think we'll do alright tonight. I think we'll play some uh, decent football again. I think he's going to name... BBM's going to name an unchanged lineup. He's going to go with the same team that started at Peterborough just to show some uh, confidence in the boys and give uh, Lincoln a tough game tonight. I'm going to go for a 2 1 victory. Um, one last thing before that, talking about Rochdale now, as well as we've been playing, obviously, if we were to. Sorry, pal. If we don't win tonight and we go up with anything other than a win, Funnily enough, we've actually started the first eight games of this season worse than last season, which everyone has a Rochdale perspective here now. You'd think, wow, that's amazing. How, how the fuck's that happened? But it's true. If we only draw tonight or lose, we've started worse this season, which is, I'm not alarmed yet. We're going to be all right this year, but it's still slightly alarming. I think we need to find the net, we need to find a striker, like I've already mentioned. Anyway, let's get this next two hours out of, out of the way. Going to get a beer now from Tesco, ready for when I do set off on the bus. But I'm not going to be getting drunk tonight, I'm going to be having a mellow one. Set off at six o'clock, back to Rochdale, should be in the pub for seven. I'll see you there. Wouldn't it be a shame if they fell and broke the necks? <laughs> so, as you can see, back in Rochdale now, it's 20 to six on town hall. So I'm going to get a taxi up there just to give me a bit more time to chill out in the pub. Maybe have a two instead of the one pint. And yeah, just I wanted to mention um, to Lincoln fans, don't be whinging about ticket prices tonight because Sunderland had to go through his ticket prices. For some reason, they're classing Lincoln as a Category A game, which means you boys, if you're paying tonight, you're paying 27 quid. So you are being ripped off at that price, I think. So sorry about that, but it's not me that makes those decisions. All right, pub time. Let's get some predictions from the Inter Malaga crew. I wish we were in the Regal, that's for sure. In the video before before the predictions from everyone here, I hear we're going to Wembley again together. <laughs> Gary Stanley's European tour. Would you like to explain to the uh, viewers what what that means? Well, we got tickets for Euro 2020 at Wembley. We did with the last 16 yep. knockout round yep. on a Saturday. Yeah. It's very likely going to be Holland or Italy that we're watching. Apparently so. Yeah. Yep. Dutch ladies. And me, you said I weren't allowed to Wembley with you again. I'm not fucking driving. <laughs> <laughs> so if he's not driving, he's safe for that one. So there we go. Because, no because what happened last time? 
last time, it, the beast from the east, Rochdale played Tottenham at Wembley. Yeah. yeah. Pete decided that he needed brandy and then got all psychotic in the back of the car. The snow's as tall as me, at least five foot. It was a bad fucking yeah, weather. Sad. And he was trying to get out in minus fucking eight. Lost his phone. Lost my driving license. Lost his driving license. Everything. He didn't lose it called drinking. Yeah. I lost my dignity. Yeah. He lost his dignity. And then when when I finally dropped him off, he decided to throw a, a wobbler. A bottle. Did I throw? Did I throw a bottle? He threw a bottle or something like that. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember it, everyone. But uh, I'll remember the European tour that yeah, we're going to go on in the summer yeah. anyway. Yeah. Right. I'm going to get score predictions off everyone now. Right, we'll win. We'll start with you. Two 0 have you gone for? Yeah. There we go. Matt's going to go around, Cole, shut up. <laughs> Score prediction on it, quick. We've not got long, have we? 2-2. Two, two. Two, two. Pat, was your birthday good? And what are you drinking? Pat's on tonic water to lie to the GP about saying that her liver's actually healthy. Uh, this, well, for this week alone. There we go. Pete, have you got a prediction? Difficult one. 1-1. And Will Maxwell, how are you, mate? It's good. Uh, uh, two, one. Two, two on. Will's gone the same as me again. Again, he's gone for the same as me. But the majority is no one said a defeat here. No one said a defeat. That's I mentioned it earlier. I mentioned it earlier, Will. I'll just might as well keep this clip going before we set off to the stadium. If we don't win today, we've started off worse than last year after eight games. We need to win. We need to win. We're going to win. Two one. Here we go. Where's your score prediction at? <laughs> Mouthful, but Mouthful, what are you eating? What, what are you on? S Sucky Sandbrooks or something? Sucky Sandbrooks. <laughs> Tonight we're going 2 0 Rochdale, Ricky or Pike, and Henderson. Oh, I don't know about Pike scoring, he's not that fucking dangerous at all. We'll do well, don't you worry. Boys? 1 0 draw. 1 1. 2 1 Dale. No one's gone for a Rochdale defeat, I've gone for 2 1 Dale as well. I was, I was saying to them in the pub there before, Rob, if we do not win tonight, we've started worse than last year. Mm. <laughs> How does that sound? It sound right. It? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Anyway, around this corner, into Spotland, let's get in-game action underway, everyone. Up the hill! I'm saying the players are out and everything. Lincoln have not brought that many down. For 27 quid a ticket, you wouldn't have expected them to. But they're all out. Uh, let's get to my seat now and let's get the uh, full-on in-game action underway, everyone. Come on, Dale. And it's Lincoln City to get this evening's um, proceedings underway. Here we go. Have they got a new manager yet? No, caretakers will, caretakers. That was a good clearance, that didn't happen on Saturday. Literally seconds into the game, Rossi came forward, a good ball over to the uh, right hand side here. And it came out twice, Dooley slashed the second one just past the post. Come on. Oh, it's a good turn. Oh, oh. Yeah! Yes! I did that at the right time. Fucking hell, they're a mistake. That by the defence, I think. He played it in, it was a soft ball. The keeper should have been claiming that. He's parried it out. It's fell to Dooley on the penalty spot, and it's 1 0 Rochdale. There we go. Get in. 1 0. Rochdale, the ones threatening. The second goal. Oh, side netting. Not been much since the first goal, like about 10 minutes ago. Uh, Lincoln have offered very little so far, but there's another chance to uh, put the ball in the net, but uh, it remains 1 0. Set piece about 35 minutes in, about 35 yards out. He looks like he's lined up to have a go for it. It's their best chance they've had so far, and it's 35 yard out free kick. Um, yeah, let's see. Jim's, Jim's out really wide there. He's blocking the pass. He's going to have a dig here. Oh, it's right over the bar. Let it get forward quick enough. I'm going for a pint after this one for sure. Is he offside? No. Thought it could have been. Last clip. See it go out of play. Whack it, whack it. Referee. He was going to put his mouth to his lips so anyway. Pint time in a minute. Piss time. They're at the front. Giving it a go, it needs a good ball in though. It's not a bad ball in, no one there though. Smash it, smash it! Oh, it's gone wide. Uh, pretty much half time, piss time, pint time. Will Maxwell is the half time analysis today. Oh, you're in the team. You're not really. Uh, I thought he played quite well. 
but the confidence is still there uh, to pass the ball, but we're not overdoing it at the back. It's a bit different. We're not actually doing the passing game today. We've changed it up a little bit and crossing it in the wings. It's happening further forward in a bit. So it yeah. Avoid the confidence. What are you thinking for the rest of the game? I think we need an early goal second half, and then we can go on and win quite comfortably. But we don't have to but, do that. Pete, do we need a, do we need a settling goal? Get a scabby goal if we don't get one. If, one, if, one. if we don't get the second, they will get a scabby goal and it will happen. Anyway, we're on the red stripe. We're going Jamaican because we're all fucking hardcore yardies. <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyway, second half's about to begin. Dan's here now. We're all here and second half. Four nil, Pete. <laughs> I'll take the two one, like I said. I'll take it. I'll take it. Come on, Dale. Let's have the points. Second half. They've got. A, they've got a corner. Then I'll find my seat. Come on, is he going to take it or not? Put it in the box. Oh, he took it, it's a low one. Hey, I'm ball! And it's out, it's out. Up to my seat. It seems like we've started the second half slowly. Haven't we just got my seat, to be fair? Yeah, guys, to But yeah, they went, they went to it together and it's going to be a yellow card for Dale player. It can't be a red. No, he would have already showed the red. It's going to be a yellow. Lincoln have come out with a lot more endeavour. They are on top in the second half so far. Really are on top. We can't get a grip on the ball at the moment. And that, that'll do, that'll do. It's a yellow card then, ref. It's got to be a yellow. Well, yeah. I think we're also going to need to slow it down just a touch because it's going to get naughty this game. It's going to get very gritty. And still they're coming forward because we're not we can't get a foot on the ball I oh, watch till the end of this break play but they're in the box now they're in the box they're going to turn him he's out wide he's going to cross one in now and it's a corner to Lincoln City I'll turn it around for the corner but playing ourselves into trouble again like we did on Saturday I do not know how the ball just not I don't know how Lincoln have not scored there was a big fucking melee in the middle of the box it's gone in, out, in, out. There was an open net. Our player just went to clear it, missed the ball completely. I think Sanchez might have saved that. But Lincoln is still coming forward, still coming forward. We cannot get this ball under control at the moment. Come on, Neil! We've even made a sub. They played out wide here. It's just, it's relentless at the moment. Just let them into the game. It's right. in the box. Header away by uh, O'Connell. And it's back out wide to them again. It's... If they get one, they'll win the game. <laughs> At this rate, they will. Get rid of it, Jim! Oh, he's got the ball! I told you he'd take one counter attack. Fucking hell. Go on! Go on, Dooley! Oh, terrible ball! Just when you need the ball up top. Pete, it's not good for our health, this, is it? You don't think. We get the ball up, though, then. There's no fucker there in the middle, that's why. Well, what do you think? What's going to happen here? We're hanging on. We're hanging on's the fucking worth it. My heart's like stopped four times. And there's your goal. It's been coming all along. Fucking. No, they've got the ball out of the net because they know that they're going forward to win this game. What a fucking terrible second half display. They've been all over us. And we're going to go on to lose this, everyone. It lasts fucking five minutes. Uh, boards up. Three minutes additional time. There's only one team going to win this game now. We have been absolutely dominated in the second half. We've offered nothing up front, no striker. No one in the box when we want to, when we can counter attack or we could have counter attacked. There's no one to aim for. There is not a striker in the box. We're going to, we're going to lose football matches through that, and we're going to lose points tonight through that. I think. Three minutes to play this out. Draw probably for game of two halves. So that's it. It did finish. It did finish one-one. Dan, you, you seen most of the second half and not the first. That was dominance in the second half from them, weren't it? Yeah, we're just clinging on. Uh, the passing we football we went, off, didn't it? We don't offer anything up front, do we? No. Well, I was saying, there's, there were nothing, nothing offered up front. The passing football were put to one side for one game, which I was quite happy about until that second half because it. I don't know what he said at half time to them, Dan. I'm not sure, man. Not even the manager, the caretaker manager, but either way, that was. That was, we were hanging on, and we probably deserve to even lose that. Yeah, possibly, the second half. Will, what do you think? We possibly deserve to lose that. 
That's where the smell of shit's coming from. This fucking fertiliser crap that they're putting on the ground. I don't know, I want to tell a joke about how much Lincoln died, but I just can't get over it, so I'll just say that. They're a bunch of diving masters. They, they did they're dive a lot. Side. Good side, it's not there, they're good side. They don't need to do that. Nope. But there we go. We've started Western last year now. <laughs> anyway, we move on now to where we're we going on Saturday, Will. We're going to Fleetwood Town on Saturday. Not on the road again, on the railways again. And I'll see you all. It's gone really dark, hasn't it? That's me, right? Spooky, because that were a dark second half, but anyway, we'll see you on Saturday, Fleetwood away for match day nine. Up the hill.